Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This time we are continuing our campaign run with Hulk Justice against uh, the Rise of the Red Skull campaign. And uh, we are at Zola, so two villains still to go. As you can see, we have the Hydra Prison in play, but nothing underneath it. Hulk is a bit special because Hulk doesn't have a signature ally that goes underneath the Hydra Prison, so we can just ignore that. Uh, we talked about Hulk's deck in the last video, so I'll just put the uh, deck list up for a bit. I won't talk about that that much and I'll add it to the video description as always. Uh, we have been mostly lucky with the uh, Hulk smashes throughout this run. Let's hope this trend continues. And uh, against Zola, we really want to defeat Zola as fast as possible again. Uh, Zola doesn't have a lot of hit points, so a Hulk smash takes care of one uh, phase if we don't have guard minions in play, which are quite troublesome. But I think that is enough of the scenario, so let's get started. We have pre shuffled the deck, so we'll do our opening hand. We get energy for justice, genius, assess the situation, resourceful. We really don't need the for justice, and uh, I think we, we try to find something useful to play with those cards. So we'll draw three. <laughs> we get strength. Early carrier and interrogation room. So I'm uh, uh, I'm drawing one with banner's ability, crushing blow. Well, at least we can defeat that enemy. So I'm playing the heli carrier down. Oh yeah, uh, I should have discarded something, so I'll discard the interrogation room. Forgot about that. Yep, for the banners. Experimental research ability. So we'll flip. I'll just hit the top off. Actually, we'll just ignore this guy. No. Uh, yeah, we'll just ignore. So four here, we'll take one retaliate. Then we cross and blow, so we deal four more da damage here. So I'll just uh, take off this and add two. So we took a couple of retaliates. That is that turn. We ready up. Go back up to four. Suborbital leap under surveillance, boundless raids, and clear the area. We go to the villain phase, we add a threat to the main scheme, then we add as a force effect one uh, test counter here. Zola attacks, I want defend, so one plus place one test counter on the main scheme. So we take one, then this guy attacks, we take one. Then counter card is. Any inhibitors attached to the minion with the most remaining hit points without another copy of pain inhibitors attached. If you cannot discard in search, attached minion gets plus two hit points and gains retaliate one. Luckily, it didn't gain guard, so we're okay. So that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. I think I will be playing the Clear the area to remove this one here, so we cycle our deck, we get for justice. Really doesn't matter. We'll use the for justice to play boundless rage. And uh, I think 
that's it. We'll hit for five. We take one retaliate. We advance to phase two. So uh, again, retaliate one. When revealed, just encounter deck and discard pile for a test subject, side scheme and reveal it. So, we search for the test subject, side scheme. So it comes into play with two. Uh, when defeated, the first player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until then they discard a minion, reveal that minion. Well, I think we are not doing that. But we'll get extra cards, which is not nice. I will discard these two. And we'll add 14 health to Zola. Are we ready up? Draw back up to 4. Hulk smash. Clear the area. Assess the situation. And Jessica Jones. So we actually can possibly win next turn if we don't hit any card minions we'll see uh, we add a threat to the main scheme we add a test counter here just checking this that this should be the other way around So, uh, if there are three or more test counters here, discard cards from top to the counter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play. Remove three. So, we'll discard cards. Hope we don't hit. Uh, well, we get the ultimate bio servant, which is. It's okay. It doesn't have tough, so we don't really care. Or guard. Uh, it has tough, but it doesn't have guard. That is what we don't care about. Okay. We remove these three. Uh, Zola attacks. I won't defend, so we'll take two damage. These guys attack. I'll take another two damage. And we gain couple of encounter cards so the first one is another by a servant uh, and the last one is concussion blasters well the villain gains retaliate what really don't care so that is that turn let's go to the next turn so this was a really fast one so we'll just talk smash this turn no guard minions in play, so we'll hit for 14 damage, defeating Zola, and we don't even take the retaliates. So, uh, that was Zola, that was a really quick one. Next up, uh, we fight against the Red Skull, and for the upgrade, I'm just upgrading this to improved attack upgrade. So now we have also the uh, when we defeat a minion, we exhaust this card and draw one card, so that's good for Hulk too. But yeah, uh, that was Zola, so next up I'll set up the Red Skull scenario, so I'll be right back. Okay, we are at the end of the campaign. Uh, Hulk managed to fight his way right uh, to the Red House, where Red Skull is waiting. So, uh, we have the side scheme deck here, and we already have the Red House in play. So, before we can start smashing Red Skull's face in, we need to smash down the wall of the Red House, so to speak. So, I uh, made a bit of a mistake in the last uh, fight. I was upgrading this uh, attack upgrade to the improved one, but because I didn't remove the Hydra Prison or the uh, side scheme 
from play. I can't upgrade the car, so it is what it is. I forgot to read what I need to do before playing this scenario. We also noted that we are we were engaged with an enemy. So we had quite a many a lot of enemies engaged with us at the end of the last scenario. That really doesn't matter at all in standard, but in expert we would have dealt uh, an encounter card for each player with an enemy. But in standard it doesn't matter. So we're ready to start. I'll draw my opening hand. Now we get Quake, under surveillance, Hulk smash, Delicarrier. carrier assess the situation when unfortunately we can't use the Hulk smash without reading Hulk so instead I think I'm trying to slow down the game by playing the under surveillance so let's do this um, we'll just discard these two Hopefully draw into some resources. Well, immovable object is really good. Clear the area. Also okay. We don't have enough stuff to play the heli carrier, so... Well, uh, clear the area is useless. Uh, we don't have... Well, it's... Quite... Well, let's use the ability first. For just this. Okay, so... Use these two for the for justice and not play the immovable object, so we'll play the under surveillance. Okay, I think that's quite alright. So we'll um yeah we have to discard something. Okay, so this doesn't work. Yeah. Okay don't have enough to play that. Okay, so let's think about this again. I think I'm playing Quake and uh, the clear the area. Or... <laughs> Quite a bad start with this hand. So I'm thinking I'm playing Quake with those two. those and then clear the area yeah I think that's that's our only way to play it so I'll flip I'll play quake and uh, I'll hit the red house so I'm actually thwarting for zero but I can use my uh, attack value to thwart so I'm thwarting for four we get rid of the red house then I'll clear the area to remove two from here. And Quake will hit for two here. Then we're ready up. Growing back to my hand size of four. Okay. So we get Limitless Strength time two, Mockingbird and Thunderclap. So at least we have stuff to play with those Limitless Strengths next turn. Uh, we go to the villain phase, uh, we add a threat to the main scheme. Then, forced response after resolving step 1 of the villain phase, reveal the top card of the side scheme deck and put it into play. We get censored past, and it comes into play with 3. Okay. Uh, then, I'm yeah, I think I forgot to add all the help to Hulk after last game, so I'm just doing it quickly here. So we have that much health, so we're just taking the attacks, so Red Skull attacks for uh, 1 plus Exhausted character you control, so Wake is exhausted. And we take 1 damage. We get an encounter card, and it is Hydra Jet Trooper. Quick strike, it's for two. Okay. 
Well, lucky we have the Thunder Clap, so we can just kill that off and deal damage to Red Skull. But that was the first turn. Let's go to the second turn. So right away I'm uh, thinking of playing a Mockingbird. We stun Red Skull. Then uh, we will Thunder Clap. I will deal three here and three here. And I will hit for four. Then I will ready. Uh, actually, I'm hitting for one. Mockingbird also. So we're ready up. We draw back up to four. Resourceful Banners Laboratory, Sense of Justice, and Avengers Mansion. So nothing really special to play with, but we'll see. We'll add a threat to the main scheme. We reveal a side scheme. It's a Hydra Patrol. And uh, we remove the stun. Encounter Cardis. Inner Demons. So we have to flip. Again, uh, we are at Bruce Banner. Discard two cards from your hand. Discard this obligation. Okay, discarding. Uh, just discard these two. That's okay. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. And I forgot to add because that that was in the wrong place, so I didn't notice it. So we actually added one more threat to the main scheme last turn. Okay. Uh, this turn I'm discarding this to well. First I'm drawing one with the... Uh, okay, that's a good trade. So we can play that crushing blow. So we'll flip. And uh, Quake will hit for two here. We will advance to base two. So Red Skull gets plus one attack for each size scheme in play. When revealed, deal each player an encounter card. Then uh, Red Skull has 16 health. So now I think it's time to use this tactical scanner. So I, I remove this from play. So I discard this card and remove it from the campaign log. We draw five cards. We get Boundless Rage, Jessica Jones, Hulk Smash, Subtropical Leap and Interrogation Room. So we can defeat Red Skull this turn. Let's start by playing Boundless Rage. So I'm attack of 5, then I will just hit for 1 here, and I'll pay 3. Actually I'm crushing blow in first, so dealing 5, then I'll use these 3 to Hulk smash and hit for 15. And that is the game. So, uh, Zola and Red Skull went <laughs> down quite easily in the end. Um, Hulk Smash is a really fast way to defeat this uh, Rise of Red Skull enemies or, or villains. Because most of them have held only to up to like 14 or 16 or something like that on standard. So. Of course, if I was playing on experts, um, the game would be much harder and I, I doubt Hulk would do this good. But still, in the end, we managed to clear the campaign and I'll actually have to check uh, how many turns total it took to take down the whole campaign with Hulk, but I'll post that as a pop-up here in the end of the video, so you can see it. But yeah, uh, playing Hulk in these not that challenging 
difficulties is quite fun and entertaining, so I highly recommend trying Hulk out on standard difficulty if you don't fancy playing Hulk on Expert or Heroic or something like that. So, again, thanks for watching and until next time.